probably be pretty fortunate, and especially in this, this area, it's a bloody magic area, um, and certainly uh, uh, that's why it's so popular. I mean, people love coming here and we love farming in this area. When high rainfall, generally grows grass pretty easily, so it just marries in with you know, livestock production. We just happen to be lucky enough to be in the dairy industry. Yeah, clearly we use water. Um, I guess the other thing is um, really just making sure it marries in with, or we can marry in with, with what's here. I mean, uh, we've got to fit in with you know, climate variations, um, you know, the vagaries of, of owning land. I mean, you've got weeds and pests and things like that, pest animals and whatnot. So there's a whole raft of different things that you know sort of come into the into the system. As you drive around different places, you can sort of pick you know how different systems are, are fitting in with that landscape and, and how they're marrying in. So. We're conscious of you know the balance, I guess, between all those things. It's like most things; you, you only get out of it what you put into it. Look, we're conscious of what we do. We, we try to keep um, you know the riparian area um, managed. Like we've pretty much been able to eradicate privet pretty much over about three and a half kilometres of river frontage. Um, so we keep the riparian zone pretty um, pretty clear and uh, free of weeds, and also just allow um, uh, sort of controlled grazing sort of with animals just to help maintain that sort of level of, of uh, sort of riparian area. And, and the grazing side, like, uh, you know, all our paddocks are fenced off the river, but the cattle still have access, um, you know, around the extremities of that. And I think that's been uh, one of the keys, certainly for us, that, you know, the cattle don't have access to it uh, all the time. Like it might only be for a few weeks at a, at a time, mm. uh, just while they're coming out of the paddock, and that's pretty much about it. But that's enough pressure just to, I guess, control weeds and, and certainly maintain a you know a good cover so that we're not getting any uh, you know any erosion problems and things like that. We got off stream watering, and it's a funny thing. Uh, it might sound stupid, but yeah, you know, if I put a beer on the floor and a beer on the table, you're going to go for the beer on the table every time, and, and that's exactly what animals do. They go for the easiest drink. Yep. And I'm still amazed at how far an animal will walk to drink out of a trough uh, rather than the river or a dam. It's it's actually quite amazing. So yeah, just depending on. Uh, where you locate your water troughs, you can actually manage you know, your, your cattle um, you know, quite quite well. We soil test fairly regularly, um, as we do with the cows. We sort of you know, test the cows to see how they're performing, and, and we adjust the system to suit. Oh, look, I think it's a good opportunity just for people to come and see um, you know, different farming, uh, way people farm a bit differently um, in this area. And I think obviously having Lynn Strong come along, um, you know, seeing what they do differently in their area. Um, the Jamboree region's not probably dissimilar to what we've got here. Um, so I think there'll be some, hopefully some interest in, in what Lynn does down there. And it's obviously a dairy uh, enterprise as well. And I think one of the other key things too is um, really just I guess farmers being probably a bit more aware we are in public eye and Jamboree is you know, a key tourist destination and, and you know, clearly there's a lot of people um, sort of gravitate to that area uh, for tourism. This area is much the same so almost by default farming, you know, whether we like to admit it or not, is uh, in the public eye and it's probably going to be, you know, be more so as time goes on. So. And also just to be absolutely super conscious of you know where we where we operate. Uh, as I said before, it's that we are in public eye, so we've got to be more conscious of that, and uh, you know try and um, do as best we can to um, not only just look good in the eyes of people, but certainly ensure that we're doing the right thing by, by the landscape and by the environment.